I think it's seen as a threat for all kinds of reasons, but sometimes some of the concerns that are expressed are a little bit one-sided. I think you have to look at platforms in a holistic manner. There are both positive and negative aspects to all of it. Certainly, if to the extent that there are anti-competitive impacts, that the behavior of particular firms by virtue of their acquisitions or the way they manage the, their ad space or things like that, um, or, or you know how they interact with uh, the app environment, to the extent that that precludes competition and innovation, that's obviously a bad thing. To the extent that they uh, have business models that are, in some people's views, just creepy in terms of their level of surveillance of people's data, um, that is obviously a concern. On the other hand, it's also true that platforms create all kinds of economic opportunities for other actors. You know, if you look even at Facebook or if you look at the app stores and Google and, and Apple and so on, you see lots of companies that are able to create new businesses connected to those platforms. And let's bear, bear in mind when we talk about platforms, platforms are a form of economic organization that extend beyond just GAFA. Everybody talks about Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Apple, as if this was the entire global digital universe. But platforms are being used throughout the manufacturing sector, throughout service sectors, in all kinds of realms, okay? And the ways in which platforms are performing in all those different environments are not necessarily captured very effectively by the, oh my God, this is all horrible headlines that are tossed around with regard to the few big you know, social media platforms and so on. So I just think that the, the discussion of platforms requires a little bit more balance and nuance. It's easily turned into an arena where political posturing uh, trumps real analytical balanced assessments, and that's to me not that helpful.